truth there. It's always something. Yeah. Like that, that shows like the truth. Yeah, like this was going on. Right. We ain't we not gonna lie to you about right. this. We gonna tell you this and this. Mm -hmm. So then when you go to the around you like how y'all even doing this when it's some of y'all that's admitting that it's this. Like what the fuck? Like the audacity of it. It's the audacity. Hey, give me the book of Matthew even chapter twenty four that, like verse that. that's fourteen. Crazy. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 14. Bring it out. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. It's going to be told to everybody. Is everybody going to be responsible for being known? This yeah. was told to y'all. Yeah, basically the word, uh, the word that everybody's an Israelite, you should, it's going to be preached throughout every single nation. It's going to be preached out in every city. So there's going to be no excuse for a, a brother, an Israelite brother, to, to not know that he's an Israelite before the end comes. That's basically what that verse is saying. Right. Check, check. Yeah, I'll get to it after this. Next fucking book. We'll read it one more time. Oh, what do we do? Okay, come on. This is the book, Second Sight, right? Look at here. 5 verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. God say, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Go ahead. And put off from day to day. Put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the breath of the Lord come forth. What did he say? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Go funny, ahead. And in that security. And what? And in that security. And that security, where you secure at. Most of us are secure when we're in our home. And right. that security, go ahead. Thou shalt be destroyed. Thou shalt be destroyed. You see that? How could people be destroyed in their security? Give me one example, brother. When you're in your home, when you're security, how can you be destroyed? A lot of ways. It's a lot of ways. Come into your house and kill them. There you go. Natural causes. There you go. So, but this is the Lord telling us. That's why he said, read it again from the top. This is the book of chapter 9, verse 7. Make no carry to the of the Lord. But I'm not that much. That almighty, y'all. For suddenly shall the wrath for the Lord come forth. And in that security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And perish in the day of vengeance. That's going back to the Lord warning us, right? Chastising us, right? That's what that's going back into. Before he's destroyed us in our security. When we feel secure, that's when it happens. Why? Because we do not put off from day to day. Right. That's why I say don't put off from day to day. So now you know that you gotta put that off. Don't wait that I'm gonna do it next week, right? I'm gonna do it next month, but I'm gonna get rid No. He said, do it fast. Right. Don't wait. He said, right, there you go. You see that? So yes, you gotta make haste. Did you just read that? Yeah. You need to put this um Sarah to the four verse twenty. Right? Yeah. Oh, when I'm I'm done when I'm done talking to him, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, don't step on the posters. Yeah, when I'm done taking help, done with him, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to you. Okay, go ahead. Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 4, and verse 20. Bring it out. out. Observe the opportunity. What did God say? Observe, observe the, the opportunity. opportunity. Lord, tell him, hey, observe the opportunity. Y'all, my children, y'all about to observe this opportunity. Go ahead. And beware of evil. And beware of what? Beware evil. Of evil. Beware of evil. Because what? It's our sins and evil that's going to get us killed, fit to death. Go ahead. And be not ashamed when it concerns thy soul. Don't be ashamed when it concerns our soul. If the Lord say don't do, then don't do it. If the Lord tell us to do, then we do it. Go ahead. For there is a shame that bringeth sin, and there is a shame which is glory and grace. There's a shame that brings sin, and there's a shame that bringeth glory and grace. You see what I'm saying, brother? So it's the, the, the thing is, what side would you be on? Daniel 12 and verse 2. Daniel 12 and 2. You're in the book of 2 Nezra, chapter 3, 13, 29. 2 Nezra 13, 29. Right? We got the decision to make. Whoever we get it first, read what you got. It's the book of 2 Nezra, chapter 13 and verse 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. You hear that? That's, it's coming when he's going to begin to deliver his people that are on the earth. Go ahead. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. 
and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. That's going into the race wars that's coming. Go ahead and read what you got. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 2. Oh, and many of them that sleep that in the dust. Excuse me, excuse me. Talking. Sorry, Hold on, no, no, excuse me. I'm talking. I, I don't see the race war. I, I'm not excuse talking. Me. Hey, yo, we talking. Talking. We, talking. We, talking. we talking, we talking. Don't interrupt the man. Go ahead, don't, we're going to ignore him. We're going to ignore him. But go ahead, read nice and long. This is book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting content. Now, that's heavy right there. Read it again. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth. Many that sleep in the dust of the earth going to what? Shall awake. Shall awake to what? Some to everlasting life. Some so everlasting life. Some of the children of Israel they to everlasting life. Right, because we got to keep the laws of the commandments. Those that's keeping the laws of the commandments will make it. Go ahead. And some to everlasting shame and content. Some to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame, shame and, content. and content. The ones that's going to be everlasting, that's going to wake out of the dust, the everlasting shame and content is the heathen nation. Right. So the children of Israel is going to rise up to get everlasting life and the heathen to everlasting shame. Why? Because they're going into slavery. Right. Okay? You understand that, King? Yeah, Give me the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 49. It's the book of Matthew. Chapter 13 and verse 49. You know. So shall it be at the end of the world. What time? So shall it be at the at end, the end of, of the world. world. So shall it be at the end of the world which we are walking in now. Go ahead. The angels shall come forth. The angels of God shall come forth. And sever the wicked from amongst the just. He's going to separate the wicked He's nation the from amongst the righteous nation. Go ahead. That's right. And, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. And so what? And shall cast them into the furnace of fire. fire. So, whoever don't get beat up, when the chariots come, when these missiles hit, they will taste that lake of fire. Oh, right? They will, they're going to eat it at. That lake of fire. Read it again for me, y'all. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from amongst the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be welling and gnashing of teeth. Now, with welling and gnashing of teeth, does that come real quick? If a bomb hit, boom, don't we just die, dissipate? Right? How can it be gnashing of teeth if I'm going to die real quick? If a missile come right now and hit this place, boom, we all gone, just like that. But the Lord said it's going to be welling and gnashing of teeth. Let us know it's going to be in there for quite some time. Let us know that this flesh die, but our spirit doesn't. Right? Regeneration is all throughout the Bible. Did you know that, brother? This ain't your first time here. Did you know that? So so you know that. It's, 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 it's another realm that we are part of. Right, that we keep all we never die, brother. We just I'm just somebody that was I'm whoever my people, my ancestors Right. When the time they were there. There you go. You just keep coming every three to four <laughs> generations. Right? right? <laughs> it is you know the book of numbers 14, 18. Numbers 14, 18. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 20. All right? Well, let me show you some things. Go ahead and read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 18. Bring it out. The Lord is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children fourth. unto the third right. and fourth generation. Right. So we letting us know we come back. Right? In the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12, verse 7. Letting us know we come back every you third still and fourth. Seed. I'm still teaching you, you them. Right. You, so, if you're from the tribe of Judah, you're going to keep coming back as a Judite. So, so the, I still got to do the same thing that I've been doing with you when you was them. Right. It's, it's the like same you, thing. Why? Because it's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. The spirit never changed. Only this costume, which is our body, changes. But the spirit never changed. Go ahead and read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 7. Bring it out. This shall the dust return to the earth. And as it was. So when we die, our bodies return to the, the ground as it was. Go ahead. And the spirit shall return it to Yahweh. The spirit goes back up to God who what? Who gave it. Who gave it. Read what you got. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18 and verse 20. Bring it out. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father build, bear the iniquity of the son. That's going back into, we come back every third and fourth generation. He's letting us know that last generation Brother, that last generation, the sins is going to be on us. Now it's our time and our chance to get all of our sins up because what? 
our father, we're not responsible for our father's sins or our children's or our mother's sins. We are responsible for our own sins. Read it again nice and loud for me, y'all. The soul that sins. The soul that sins. It shall die. It shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. The son shall not bear the iniquities as the father, as we read in Numbers 14, 18. Go ahead. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. Neither the father bear the iniquity. That's right. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. You see that? So a person has righteousness, that righteousness is going to be upon them. However it play out. There, there you go. You a wicked person, they, that judgment is going to play out on them. What do we do? There's a book of Second Edges, chapter 14, verse 35. Out. For after death shall the judgment come. What did God say? For after, after death, death shall the judgment, judgment come. come. Before after death shall the judgment come, which we shall what? We shall begin again. I gotta, I gotta catch your bus. So go no, ahead and catch your bus. Get out of here, bro. I bro listen, I don't know. You know, get, get away from. Me. Please, I'm good with please that. get away from. Me, I'm good with that. I'm please, just can you tell you are you can you get away? So that you know. Get out of here, Esau. Get out Hey, don't worry about him, brother. Okay, he's trying to take away the word. Have a nice day, bro. This the book of Second Esau. Esau's gonna be part of something. We ain't part of this. Now that's the devil. That's just the devil, right in the flesh. That's right. That's right in the flesh. It's exposed in country. Everything's you getting that information. He don't want to play this role. Everything's just the devil gonna come over here fucking around. That's that's it. Why are you even here? That's, that's it. That. Go ahead and read it. This the book of Second Second Edges, chapter fourteen, verse thirty five. Now for after First death shall the judgment come. When shall we live again? And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly be declared. You see that? So the, the, the names of the righteous will be manifest, I meaning they're going to get the kingdom of heaven. They're going to be written in that book of life. But the what? And, and the works of the ungodly. And the works be, of the, the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Shall be declared. What is the works of the ungodly? Lake of fire. Read that. This is the book of First Thessalonians chapter four and verse sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with, with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Read that one more time from the top of me, y'all. Uh, this is the book of Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God. With the trump of God. Let me know. He's here. It's over. It's now judgment time. Go ahead. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Those that are in the grave, the people who die right now today, they go into the grave and they sleep. There ain't no more going, they so, remember we read that the spirit goes back up to God who gave it? No, all them spirits go and they go into the grave and they sleep. But he's saying they're going to rise. So read again from the top for me. Chapter 4, this is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 16. No! For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain. Now we that are alive and remain while the dead shall go on up. The ones that are alive and remain shall what? Shall be caught up together. Shall be caught up together. With them in the clouds. With them. So we're going to, the dead going to come out of the grave. Them spirits, all them souls, they're going to come up out of the graves. And us that are alive, us that's keeping the Father's laws, such commandments, we're going to be caught up with him. This is what's going to happen when that happens. Go ahead and read. This is the first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Bring it out. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Now, he said we shall not all sleep. Meaning, remember, some shall be sleeping in the grave. He said we shall not all sleep. Because remember, the ones that's walking around, they're going to be called up together. The ones that's keeping his laws plus commandments. So read that again, Mark. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkle of an eye. We're going to be changed in a moment. In a twinkling of an eye. Go ahead. At the last trump. At the what? At the last trump. At the last trump. Bro, we have to be ready for this thing. That's why the Lord gave us grace. So we can have time to put away these sins that we are in. These same sins that will get us destroyed. It's time to come up out of it, brother. So as I said before, we got to talk tackle one thing at a time. Right? And let that be first, brother. Let that, let that blunt be first thing that you tackle, all right? All right, King, because, hey, man, we, this ain't there's no time to be playing. This ain't no game right now. The Lord ain't got us out here just doing this to be a circus for people. That's right. You know, just to grab people's attention. 
right? To entertain people. We ain't out here to entertain oh. nobody. We out here to give our people warnings. Right. Right? Read out the book of Numbers, chapter 10 and verse 9. Hebrew. Teach off. Book of Numbers, chapter 10 and verse 9. And it reads, And if ye go to war, and your land against the enemy of the oppressors you, then ye shall blow an, an alarm. What we out here to do? So you shall blow, blow an, an alarm. That's what we out here for. We out here to blow an alarm. When you blow an alarm, you warning people. That's what we doing. We out here blowing an alarm to warn our people to save their souls, come back to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments before they get destroyed. Read it again from the top. Nice and loud for me. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 10 and verse 9. Bring it out. If you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then you shall blow a trumpet. I mean, then you shall blow an alarm with the trumpet. And you shall be remembered before the Lord your God. And we shall be remembered for the Lord our God. Shall I want to kill our praise is good to see you, brothers. Mm. Yes, sir. Our mm. praise is mm. Nigga. Go ahead. And ye shall be saved from your enemies. And we shall be saved from our enemies. So is our enemies, brother? They the one that put us on slave shit. That's who come when you fuck up. That did you go. That's so that's right. So we want to be saved well, from them. The... All, and, and all praises. You know what I'm saying? He's been with us, he, 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 us since we first brought out the scripture, man. But this is just that time that the Lord is refreshing your mind. He's calling you, King. And it's up to you to come back to him. Now, anybody else, it's up to each individual to turn back to the Lord. Be what you got. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. No! Repent ye therefore, and be converted. What did God say? Repent, repent ye therefore and, and be converted. You gotta tell people it's time to repent now. Go ahead. That your sins may be blotted out. That them sins may be blotted yeah. out. All of our sins have a chance to be blotted out, not written down in the book of life. You see what I'm saying? Because either your name gonna be in the book of life or it's gonna be out of the book of life. Right. If your name is written in the book of life, we get the kingdom of heaven to see how it is to truly live. If our name is not written in the book of life, we already know what it is. Go ahead and read that. Luke 13, 3. And you're going to get a taste of that while you're out here if you don't. Right. Because the wages of sin is death. That's this is the book be. of Luke 13 and 3. Bring it out. I tell you nay, but except ye repent. Except our people repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. Ye shall all likewise perish. Ye shall all likewise perish. We all know the Lord is about his word, right? You think he, he was just saying it just to say it? You think he was just saying it just to scare us? No, he's saying it because that's what he means. We did it again for the top one more time for me, y'all. book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. No. I tell you nay, but it said ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You see that? So it's time to repent before we perish. Did I call something? In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9. In the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 1. Colossians 3, verse 1. Out. Read what you got. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 9. Read out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Hold on, what the Bible say? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Dang, the Lord, he ain't probably said, don't you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Go ahead. Be not deceived. What'd he say? Be, be not deceived. How is we going to be deceived by telling ourselves that God is with us when he really ain't? Go ahead. Neither fornicators. Fornicators, they ain't making it to the kingdom of God. Go ahead. Nor idolaters. Idolaters, serving of the God is not making it to the kingdom of God. Go ahead. Nor adulterers. Adulterers is not making it to the kingdom of God. People that want to hop from one woman to another. Women that want to hop from one man to another. They're not getting the kingdom of God. Go ahead. Nor effeminate. Effeminate. Brothers that... Man on man, got that effeminate spirit, is not getting into the kingdom of God. Go ahead. Right. No abuses of themselves with mankind. Abuses them, themselves with mankind, going back to that man on man, woman on woman thing. Even men muscle with different animals, that's bestiality. Go ahead, they're not getting the kingdom of God. Nor thieves. Nor thieves. Nor covetous. Nor covetous. I want what that brother got. I want he got a nice car. I want that car. Covenants after another brother's not going to do it. He's a he might he getting all that money. I want to get all that money. Covenants will not make it to the kingdom of God. Go ahead. Nor drunkards. Nor drunk. Nor what? Drunkards. Nor what? Nor drunkards. Nor what? Nor drunkards. Nor drunkards. Man, the Lord is not play telling us who's not going to make it. If we don't put these sins away and we want to keep doing these things, we will not make the kingdom of God. Go ahead and read up. Nor revilers. Nor revilers. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to talk. Want to talk about this person. Talk about that person. Go ahead. Nor extortioners. Nor extortioners. Extorting people for money. Right? 
Go ahead. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. He said they all shall not inherit the kingdom of God. He, so he tells us who's not going to get the kingdom of God, meaning he's telling us what sins to put away. How can we be perfect? By putting all that we just read, that he said, that's not going to make it to the kingdom of heaven, putting all that away. Really get straight through for me, y'all, with no interruptions. Know ye not that, I'm, I'm stopping the this is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteousness shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor, nor revilers, nor extortioners sh shall inherit the kingdom of God. So what? Shall inherit the kingdom of God. None of these people that do these things, none of these people that got these type of sins on them, when the Lord call us, we will not make the kingdom of God. Go ahead and read what you got. This is the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. If ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, seek those things which are above. Where Yahweh Shai Hamashiach sitteth on the great uh, on the right hand of Yahweh. Set your affliction, set your affection on things above. Not set on, our affections on things above and not where? Not on things on earth. Not on things on earth. We got our mind, you know, we got our mind, I got my mind on the kingdom of heaven. I'm thinking about the big mansions I'm going to have. I'm thinking about how many slaves I'm going to have, what right. nations I'm going to have, That's how right. I'm going to be beating them. I don't got my mind on the kingdom of heaven. That's how I'm right. glorifying the Lord and glorifying the heavenly Father. Go ahead and read. For you are dead, and your life is head with your house of Mashiach and your house. Go ahead. When, uh, when you have a shaft, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortified, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, I mean fornication, uncleanness. Fornication, uncleanness. And endurance, affection, evil, conspiracy, and conviction, which is idolatry. For which thing shall the wrath of Yahweh coming on the children of disobedience. See, these are still the disobedient people. We're still talking about the disobedient children. If we have these things on us, we will not make it into the kingdom of God. That's why I brought it out. That's what we read in the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. Matter of fact, let's get that again for you. Go ahead and get it first. Luke 13, 3. Did you hold something? Yeah, oh, go ahead and bring that out. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, and verse 30. Bring yeah. it out. Therefore, I will judge you. O house of Israel. What did God say? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel. Lord said, Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel. Because these are all our brothers and sisters. These are the house of Israel. He said, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Go ahead. Everyone according to his ways. Every one of us according to our ways. Go ahead. Says the Lord God, Yahweh. Repent and turn yourself from all your transgressions. Repent and turn from all your sins. Go ahead. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. So sin will not be our ruin. All right. You see that? So sin will not be our ruin, King. Right in the book of Second, you want something? Oh, go ahead and bring that out. So this is book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. Bring it out. I tell you nay, but ye accept, ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Except we repent, we shall all likewise perish. That's why I brought these out. So we, this ain't no game. This ain't to be taken lightly. You knew this thing for quite some time, King. Now it's time to come back to him because he's calling you at this point. Right? Give me the book real quick. In Luke chapter 15 and verse 10. Luke 15, verse 10. This is the book of Luke chapter 15, verse 10. Like, like, likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in this presence of the angels. There's joy in the presence of the holy angels of Yahweh over one sinner that repented. There's joy in the presence of the holy angels over one sinner that repented. Did you hear that, brother? We want you, we hope that you be that sinner that repent, brother, by getting rid of that. Right. Right, you said when you came over, I ain't getting rid of this. I'm gonna finish this blunt. That's not the right thing to say to God, prophets. Uh -huh. He hears you. He, uh -huh. the, the angels record everything. We just don't take this thing serious enough because we don't know how serious it really is, brother. That's why he said, in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. We don't want none of our people to be destroyed. That's why we out here, to show you the truth and show you how our God is and how he don't play so our people can get our act together, brother. Right? 
That's why. Because there is a judgment coming. First, first Chronicles 2 and verse 15. Matter of fact, give me the book of Titus. Three, first Samuel 2 and 3. The book of First Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more. Second Corinthians. So it said exceedingly proudly. Let Five not two, arrogancy two, come two, out of your two, mouth. Two. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. The Lord is a God of knowledge. What knowledge? Meaning the Lord is only coming back for children that is already sub submerged in his knowledge. Right? Go ahead. And by him, actions are weighed. What do you say? By him, him actions, actions are weighed. By him, by the Lord, our actions are weighed, brother. Right? And your actions, by the way, the good, by the way, more than the evil, the sins. You said it, right? The, we, us keeping the law, that's commandments, by the outweigh them sins that's on us. Go ahead and read. Well, this is the, this the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, and verse 10. Get out! For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. What did he say? For we, we, must, we must all appear before, before the judgment seat, seat of Christ. Christ. We all got that judgment. We all going to appear before the judgment seat of Christ. You want you want any excuses? You want, you want an excuse? You want to tell the Lord, hey, Lord, you know what? <laughs> I ain't put this away, but you know I was though. You know what I'm saying? You gonna kinda laugh, try, try to get him to laugh. You think he's gonna laugh? The Lord was an austere man. He, he didn't smile much. Right. But you think you gonna be in the Lord and say, Well, Lord, you know I was gonna pick that away. I was just I was trying to, you know, it, it kinda had no. He not hearing that. Read it again from the top for me, y'all. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may be, receive the things done in his body according to that he has done. Whether it be good or bad. Whether it be what? Whether it be good or bad. Whether it be good or bad. But we all going to face the Lord in that judgment seat. And what is that going to determine? Determine whether we're in the book of life or we ain't. Give me the, you holding something? Or give me the book of Revelations chapter 20 verse 15. Revelations 20 and verse 15. It's the book of Revelation chapter 20 and verse 15. Bring it out. And whosoever, who was, and whoever and whosoever was not found written in the book of life. Now he's about to tell us whoever was not found written in this book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Was what? Was cast, cast into the, the lake, lake of fire. fire. What? Was, was cast, cast into the, the lake, lake of fire. fire. We read these scriptures because I wanted to sneak in and tell you how serious this is. Whoever's not written in our book of life will be thrown in that lake of fire, brother. But go ahead and read. This is what we want your name to be written in. So go ahead and read. In the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 5. Bring it out. He that overcometh the, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white remnant. Meaning, we're going to get that spiritual garment for enduring all things. Go ahead. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. He said, I will not blot his name out of the book of life. That's your bus, King? Okay, you got the YouTube channel. What's your, what's your name, King? Name Jamal. Jamal. Good meet you. Good meet you, brother. All right, take it easy, brother. I'll pray to see how about you have a shot, man. We giving our brother feeding our brother the food, man, because he needed, man. So our, we gotta stop playing with the Lord, man. The Lord say make haste. We gotta make haste. That's how it is, right? This ain't no time to be playing. Hey, now that the sun coming all out, the temperature rising, a lot of spirits is about to start coming out here. You gonna see a lot of women in short things. Pretty much have panties and a bra on. But they can't wait to get out here. And what you got? Young Jake chasing after it. Right. Chasing after defiled women. Right? Mm. Women that been that body count is out of this world. Right? More sins on top of sin, but the Lord told us, man, in these last days, iniquity shall abound. Meaning sin shall increase, man. Because what? Our people don't think there's no punishment coming. So we're gonna just do and live the way we wanna live, knowing that. There ain't no punishment. No, it is a punishment. We are to tell you, it is a judgment that's coming, man. That's it's right. a lot of people need to get it right. This is the time for us to be getting it right in these last days. Right. That's a lot of our people don't think we're living in the last days, man. You got a precept? Right. Go ahead and read what you got. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 22. Yeah. How long, ye simple ones? How long, ye simple ones? Will ye love simplicity? Will you love simplicity, man? Go ahead. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the scorners delight in their scorning, man. And fools hate knowledge. And only fools hate God's knowledge. If God knowledge is what can save us, and come in the word, y'all believe in God? Come on, brother. Right? If the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is the only thing that can save us, why not cleave to it? 
You mean to tell me we intentionally want to be destroyed? Right? Why? Because our people don't think this place was going to be destroyed. Not knowing that nuclear weapons is in the Bible. That's right. America in the Bible is going to be destroyed. Right. It's written. Hey, your pastor ain't going to read it to you. That's why you never heard it. Right? But we are the true servants of prophets. We're going to read it to you. So how about we touch on World War III since nobody believes it? How about we back up the words that we say? Bring it out. Right? In the book of Isaiah chapter 50, Isaiah chapter 9 and 5. Right? In the book of 2 Peter, matter of fact, in the book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. Malachi 4 and verse 1. I need that thing open, man, because people need to hear Solomon, can you get guys right there, man. Take care of business. That's right. I'll vouch for any of them. So, so what, what are we doing to get the kingdom, bro? I don't king? judge. Good, I'll vouch for any of y'all. So, so what nah, are we doing? not any of us. Hey, what are There's we doing to get the that kingdom? that you don't vouch for, and that's the Caucasian. Because we're in the revelations. This shit is coming as hey, fast as Excuse my language. It's, this is coming as fast as we thought. Did you go? And we're Listen. young. Did Listen. you go? So hold up. Let me hold it down. Hold it down. No, because I, I want the rehab for alcohol, nigga, in November. And what they do. Well, I went to jail before. Uh, I went to rehab, bro. And while I'm in jail, I'm reading these books. They said, yo, uh, I'll, uh, uh, marijuana is a gateway drug. And I'm like, how? And I never, I always heard it, but I never really understood and like really got the con understanding. I read this book, bro. I read it. Well, I'm like, okay, cool. Next thing you know, I go to court. They send me to rehab for 30 days. I told them when I get there, I'm actually there for alcohol. Niggas get drunk, black out, cut up, punch on our friends. You know, do whatever, you know, a nigga do, black out, you know, cutting the fuck up. You know, sometimes it's fun. But, nigga, that shit taught me a lot, bro. That, and at the same time, to hold that note, alcohol is a demon creature. Right, but let me ask you a question. Did you what know that? What are you doing about it, brother? What are you doing about it? Let me buy a sage stick. You don't need a sage. You know what we got burning right now? You know what that is? Frankincense. Frankincense and myrrh. Right. They sage said, is not with it, bro. A couple niggas I was with, they like, yo, you want to get out of here? I'm like, right. nah, I know what they burning. Ah. Right. Sage ain't it. They told us sage oh, take sage care of the No, sage. they... That, that would bring on spirits. Oh. This removes spirits. This removes spirits. That's, That's why I was saying yeah. shit. Right. Here for a That's why you were saying right. stuff. Because uh, this world tells us the opposite what of God, the brother. Fuck? This I'm world tells be, us uh, the opposite of God. I'm going to be guarding heaven's gates. We not, we the servants, bro. We can tell you the truth, brother. They can't, the hang. they can't handle that. Well, That's what they can't handle. Leave, but I'll be right? guarding heaven's gates. Go ahead and read that out, huh? This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Hey, God said, beware, lest beware. any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, meaning vain words, words that don't matter. Go ahead. After, after the tradition of men. After what? The tradition of men. Hey, God said, that's going to the, after the traditions of men. Do y'all know y'all following the customs of men? Get down there and smell that. I breathe that in. Hey, brother. Smoke on that a little bit. Yeah. Brother, you know that you following the customs of men? Yes, sir. How? Uh, because uh, I got some questions, but I don't know if they should be on film. But I'm not average Joe. But I do be cutting up just as bad as Joe. So okay, well, that right I, there. What y'all got on? Oh, yeah, no, nah, yeah. That's not our customs. This ain't there. Yeah, We're not supposed to be selling Nah, hell that. no. But y'all got to know that's why I brought it to your attention. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Every day is a celebration. I figured, I figured the, the charm, because the bitch gave it to me, I figured it's a, a lucky yeah, every charm. Day, every day is a That's where I was at. And I was holiday. trying to actually blend in For me, on a different holiday. angle to do different shit. I love seeing it. Our God is not, Christmas, God is not dealing with that. It. It's a, Christmas, it's a you know Christmas in the Bible? Did you know that? No. Let's get that in the book of Jeremiah. It's entertainment. Like, how you doing? Every day is a... Holiday, not these days that people made. Listen, I want you to hear this. This is Christmas in the Bible. The Water King, go ahead. No, this is man, bring Jeremiah, it chapter ass. ten and verse one. Are bring you it out. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh to you, O house of Israel. This is the word that the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, because you are a child of Israel. Go ahead. 
Thus said the Lord, learn not to wear the heathen. What did he say? Learn, learn not, not to, to wear, wear the, the heathen. heathen. We're not to learn to wear the heathen. That's a heathen custom. That's not the custom of Yahweh Shah or Lord Christ. Go ahead. And be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Now he said, don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. It's about to get real. Go ahead. For the heathens are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are vain. For the customs, brother, for the customs of the people are vain. That's a man-made custom. God said the customs of the people are vain. Go ahead. For one cut of the tree out of the forest. Here's Christmas. What will we go? What we do for Christmas? What is that custom? Cutting the tree out of the forest and doing what with that tree? The work of the hands of a workman with the net. They deck it with silver and gold. What they put on that tree? They, they deck, deck it with, with silver, silver and gold. gold. And on top of it, they add Christmas lights. Go ahead. They fasten it with nails and hammer that it move not. And they fasten up so it will not fall. Go ahead. They are upright as the palm tree. They, they stand tall like a palm tree. Go ahead. But speak not. They must need to be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. Did you hear that, brothers? Start at 2. Thus said, this is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not to wear the heathen. What did he say? Learn not, not to wear the heathen. So we are not to be partaking in Christmas. Did you know that, brother? Did you know that, brother? We're not to be partaking in Christmas. Yeah, yeah, we're not meant to really celebrate the holidays at all. Neither that. Because every day's a holiday, man. And, um, not yeah. every day. I mean, people set us on a set schedule. We get these holidays, and they made them up. But yeah, we know what it is. Yeah. Most of these holidays... If we won't, if you won't, you understand. Most of these holidays goes against our nation when they conquered us or did evil to us. That's right. One way or another. So when we celebrate their customs, we celebrate the downfall of our own people. Uh -huh. Why are we doing that, brother? You see that? Yeah, they, they took over in a different way. I'm going to give you this flower, brother. The they, YouTube they, they channel. They made this society, 